Hey guys, we're back. This is tip number two of the things you have to know before you start raising private money. These are core tips, basic foundation tips, but a lot of people skip these and just jump around and start talking to people about lending them money. So tip number one, have a solid set of goals. I know that's an easy, simple tip, but it's something that a lot of people skip. Here is tip number two, and this is, it sounds even sillier than have a set of goals, but talk about yourself. What I mean by talk about yourself is, whether you're at the barbecue or the, uh, the church picnic or at the line in the grocery store or at the networking event or wherever it is you are, talk about what you do. And the way you talk about what you do is when you meet someone, you ask them what they do, right? What do you do? Well, everybody loves to talk about themselves. Each, each individual person is their favorite subject of conversation, meaning like they love to talk about themselves, talk about what they're up to and everything like that. And if they're courteous, they'll turn around the question and say, well, what do you do? And what's great about asking people what they do is when they answer you, you'll hear straight out, oh, this person could be a potential money partner. Oh, I work on Wall Street or I'm a chiropractor and I work 80 hours a week or you know, I, I do this, I'm, a, you know, I'm, I'm an attorney, I'm a CPA, whatever it is. Whatever they say, there may be a tip to this person could be a potential private money partner or maybe even somebody who could forward me some leads. So you want to know what they do to show that interest because there's going to be some way they can help you in your business. Get when they're courteous and turn that question around and say, well, what do you do? That's where there's something called your elevator speech comes in. Your elevator speech is where you are going to concisely and tight in, in, a, in 20 seconds or less tell them exactly what it is that you're up to, right? If you have a potential jabber jaw, if you like to talk a lot like I do, then you got to really, really keep that down because people pretty much stop listening to you after about 12 to 15 seconds of you talking. You're, you're just not that. You're just not that interesting. I promise you. So they're going to stop listening. So you got to say everything you need to say in a really tight fashion in the beginning. So that could be here's an example of an elevator speech. Oh, I raise private money from uh, from investors and I buy apartment buildings. Or here's a real simple one that always generates conversation. And I, and it's it's just a good back and forth. People say, "What do you do?" I'm a landlord. You're a landlord. That's really cool. People never change the subject after you tell them you're a landlord. It's just an interesting conversation. It's an interesting profession. It's something. It's not something they hear very often. You know, if you're not a buy and hold landlord, if you're a fix and flipper, tell them about that. Yeah, I fix houses like those guys on television. Wow, that's cool. Tell me more about that. Get a conversation going with these folks. Do not puke on them. Do not just start blabbing for five minutes about how great the real estate market is. Quick, concise points about what it is you do that tie in with those goals that you said. That's the elevator speech, super important. Talk about yourself, make a point to do that whenever you meet new people. That, my friends, is tip number two. Stay tuned, watch tip number three for things you have to know before you start raising private money. Thanks for watching.